Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to discuss energy sources, and uh, in this video, I am going to particularly talk about explosive sources. So when we talk about uh, energy sources of seismic, basically there are some desirable characters. Okay, and these desirable characters are high energy means high amplitude. and other is a broad frequency bandwidth so basically the broad frequency bandwidth means we want that the energy source covers the required seismic range we we are going to use okay basically we want that the frequency range should cover all the seismic energy we want okay it should have a broad frequency bandwidth okay these are the two important characteristics of energy sources or we can say that these are the desirable characters of seismic energy so as you know there are two sources land sources and marine sources and in land sources there is impulsive and vibratory sources okay and in and in impulsive there is explosive sources and in vibratory there is a vibro source so you already know all these things when we talk about explosive sources there is dynamite there is ammonium nitrate there is pure flex or prima cord all these are explosive sources okay so they are commonly used in the sam dry land terrain of high sedimentary thickness these are some basic things and this dynamite source provides a thick uh, and this uh, explosive source provides us the compact package of concentrated energy okay you can say that it's a advantage we will talk about advantages and disadvantages in this video about uh, explosive sources right now i am just giving you the basic idea so it it is basically very it gives us very rapid and almost instantaneous energy okay so this is what it is now let's talk about the advantage of explosive source see many times uh, these questions looks very basic but they can be asked still in your interview or whatever in your classes also that what are the advantage of explosive source okay so there is as i've already told you what are the desirable characteristics we want in energy seismic energy source what are the desirable characteristics we want in seismic energy source we want it should be very high energy it should have a broad frequency uh, frequency range these both characteristics we get in an explosive source so this is one of the advantages it has a high concentration of energy and broadband signal okay the basic thing about when we talk about i have already told you that what are the desirable characters uh, desirable characteristics of seismic energy these two basic things are met in explosive source okay now what is another important advantage very important explosive can be placed below the low velocity layer now you can think what is the advantage there so let me tell you something about low velocity layer you can see this in figure this is weathering layer and this is also called low velocity layer so what are the properties of low velocity layer this is 4 to 50 meter thick it is a, it has a low velocity and these these are highly variable and there is absorption all all these are the characteristics of low velocity layer okay first i am giving you an idea of what is low velocity layer this is 4 to 50 meter thick it has a low velocity highly variable and there is absorption of seismic energy and the seismic energy absorption is high in this zone okay and there is uh, when when there is absorption definitely there will be a large effect on travel time and since because I, those who know about uh, reflections and uh, uh, that uh, about imp impedance contrast they can understand because there is a uh, uh, very low velocity and this low velocity at the base of valley well makes it a very good reflector rays are sharply bent here why because these are low uh, this has a low velocity and below their layer is a 
significant velocity so because there is a sharp contrast that's why this makes this layer a highly reflector layer highly reflector boundary okay you can say that so the high impedance contrast at the base of lvl makes it an excellent reflector okay and to know about the thickness and we are saying that it has a low velocity but how much it is low so to know all about this about thickness and uh, uh, velocity we do a full survey so these were the properties of low velocity layer now coming back i have already told you explosive can be placed below the low velocity layer and what is the advantage of doing it there can be a question what is the advantage of doing uh, advantage of explosive source and you can answer that we can place it below the low velocity layer now it can also be asked why what will what it will give uh, when we place it the low velocity layer so what and that question can be asked so in that case see if we are placing our specific source so let us suppose here so what will happen the ray will pass through this line okay let us suppose this this is the way it passes and then it will then it will going to be recorded somewhere here let us suppose that so what will happen the seismic energy is traveling twice to the low velocity layer the seismic energy is passing through the low velocity layer twice in that case there will be greater absorption of seismic energy okay that is why we place the seismic and uh, explosive source below the low velocity layer so that there is only one pass through the low velocity layer in that case less energy will be absorbed okay did you get my point so that since if we place it somewhere at, uh, at the surface there will be uh, the seismic energy will pass through the low velocity layer twice and there will be greater absorption of seismic energy in that case we put it below the low velocity layer and there will be only one pass through the low velocity layer and there will be less absorption of seismic energy this is one of the important advantage of uh, explosive source second also very uh, uh, another important uh, advantage is that second important advantage is there is a direct measure of time through the low velocity zone okay there is a direct measure of time through the low velocity zone and that because of that time we can have an idea about the thickness of the low velocity zone and we can eliminate its effect on the travel time okay so these are the very important advantages of explosive sources that we can have a, a idea about the low velocity zone and at the same time we can place it below the low velocity zone okay so a direct measure of time through the low velocity zone can be obtained when the explosives are shot in the drill holes so these were the advantages but it also has disadvantages now when we talk about disadvantages of uh, uh, explosive source you can say that uh, environmentally it is very damaging of course it's true and uh, in marine environment we all, almost stopped it use but these are not so relevant answer okay if someone ask you what are the disadvantages uh, if someone ask you what is the disadvantages of explosive sources i think these answers are not so relevant you know you have to you have to answer in terms of assessment you know so the uh, what are the main disadvantages there's a most uh, most of energy is lost in the blow out of the hole okay this is the first disadvantage and very important disadvantage that much energy is lost in the blow out of the hole okay second important disadvantage since sometimes we are not doing uh, we are not uh, if let us suppose we are not drilling so much deep and uh, we are uh, we are placing our explosive source uh, at above or just below the surface in that case high amplitude horizontal noise is produced okay so these are the main disadvantages of explosive sources that much energy is lost in the blow out of hole and high amplitude horizontal noise is produced when explosives are shot above or just below the surface keep this in mind so you can see also this in figure there is a, a, a pole geophone which uh, records the a pole rape work and from this we can have an idea about the weathering zone means about the velocity and thickness and there's a blowout 
you can see most of the energy is lost in that case so okay this is how the figure looks so in the next video i'm going to discuss about uh, i'm going to discuss about evaporosis and we will discuss very important points those are relevant okay so meet you at the next video